Hello guys, my name is Joel Mukanya. I'm a CEO and founder at JT Devs. For today's video, we're going to focus on prototype and inheritance. So let's use the next. I'm going to start with the basic example, and then we'll compare when we need to use a prototype. So this will be kind of creating a clause. So then we say person. Then we say this dot name equals to Duke. Then we have this dot surname equals to Sam. Then what we need, we first need to create an object. We say object one equals to new person. Then we have a person one. So now we need to display the value of uh, okay. I can also create person two so we can see the difference. And then new person. Let's display those values. So we have person one dot age equals to thirty. And therefore, person two dot age equals to thirty one. Console dot logo name dot catch. We have person one dot name. A new line. Send name. We will say person one dot send name. No, person one dot age. Then they do the same thing for uh, person two. Then we just have to change it to from uh, our person one to person two. This this one will be two, not three, two, two. Let's have a look. Now you just save it. You just have, you just have to make sure that you save it. And here we go. So now we want uh, uh, those different objects to share the same uh, age. Then that's why we need to have, uh, we need to make use of a prototype. And then for a prototype, we need to access prototype keyword from the class name, class name dot uh, prototype, uh, prototype. Uh, believe, uh, what am I typing? Yeah, should be like this. Then we have prototype. Then it will allow us uh, to allow age to be shared among all ob objects. Then we don't need uh, the screen over here. So by doing so, then we're going to have both uh, both of objects that are going to have the same age. Okay. Here we go. And, um, then we need to go to uh, inheritance. So let's have a class call person. And then instead of a uh, class, we're going to have a constructor. Then we have uh, Name Sam. So this dot name equals to name. This dot surname equals to surname. Uh, so I'm going to make use of a property. Uh, 
then we say get uh, uh, since uh, we every time we, we have a constructor uh, argument constructor in here we don't need a set property we only going to use get then we say name then we're going to return say this uh, dot name do this and then same thing for setting we change this or those seven all right then let's create another class so this will be salary then we have a constructor in here as well So rich and hours. Okay. So we uh, by doing so, we need to create things uh, to actually uh, link to classes. Uh, I believe uh, we need to use uh, extend extend person. Then by using extend, um, so we say that uh, uh, make a copy of person. A class member to be available, all that are public uh, to be available on salary. So then we need to call a super keyword, which will be uh, by calling uh, the constructor of a person. Then we need to pass a default value for name and surname. Then I'm going to still going to use Duke. Uh, do and then we say uh, same as well. I believe uh, I'm going to need uh, to make use of a set set name value. And then we say uh, this uh, dot name equals to value, and then. Set surname value. So if it does uh, dot surname, it costs you a uh, value. That's it. Uh, because of this, and so we passing a default value so that both going to end up with uh, when we create an instance of uh, post of a salary then uh, it's going to have the same value on name and saying and that's why i need to include i need to make use of, of a set as well okay and then we need to create the instance of uh, rate and salary so okay another thing that i want to mention uh, when you're dealing with uh, inheritance, make sure that uh, the first line on your constructor you're calling the super because if you don't, you're going to end up in, with an error. Okay, so that's why I put it on the first line just to avoid some errors. This dot uh, hours uh, equals you hours. Okay. Let me use the method. We say uh, calculate calculate salary. And this uh, it's uh, we also return this uh, dot uh, rate times uh, this uh, dot hours. Uh, display uh, console.log name dot com catch that we say does uh, dot name
same name. Uh, this uh, dot send now. Then we do the same thing for uh, salary. Uh, salary. Then this will be uh, this uh, dot uh, calculate salary. Alright, now let's create, so uh, outside, um, outside of this clause, uh, we need to create uh, uh, an instance of a salary, then we say let salary 1 equals to, oh, I need to change it, I need to change salary to employee. So we say employee one because to you employee. So we just have to pause uh, rates uh, and hour. Then we say employee one dot display. Then I do the same thing for employee two because to you employee. Then the uh, rate will be four hundred and hours will be eighty hours. Then we say employee two dot display. Right, that would be eight. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, please subscribe, share, and like this video. Okay. So, uh, actually, I didn't give, uh, show you the result. I'm going to refresh it. And then, okay. So, let me, so we have different, so let me see. Okay, I'm going to fix it just now. Just give me a second. So on the salary, we need also a new line. And then for employee two, we need to modify their name. Uh, so it will be employee two dot name equals to uh, narrator employee two dot surname equals to uh, uh, maybe, uh, uh, maybe take it. Okay, let's refresh it. Let's see. Uh, send him, send him, send him. Color right there. Yeah, let's refresh it. There we go. That would be it for today.